Uh, I appreciate to have the chance to present our recent work. Today's topic uh, is about uh, the dilatancy properties and uh, the dilatoplastic model of sand gravel, uh, considering the whole sharing process. Uh, my presentation will last for about uh, 20 minutes. Uh, there are first, uh, six parts uh, of this presentation. Uh, firstly, uh, we will be introduced the background of the work. Uh, sand gravel generally refer to the sand and the gravel composites with gravel content, uh, which means uh, uh, the particle size is more than uh, two millimeters. Uh, the content uh, is more than 50%. Uh, due to wide distribution, a small settlement uh, and high shear strength and uh, good permeability. It is widely used in engineering construction, uh, such as for concrete fissure dams, artificial island, subgrade filling, and so on. Uh, in the traditional concept, sandy gravel is generally regarded as non liquefiable soil because of high permeability. However, uh, examples of gravel soil refraction had happened in several earthquakes. Uh, this is a part of them uh, in a table and the pictures. Uh, in 1960, uh, 1976, uh, the, uh, the reflection happened uh, on upstream in Mi reservoirs, a uh, Tangshan earthquake, and uh, the upstream uh, uh, flow. Uh, this is a reflection of the gravel of subgrid in Chichi earthquake. Uh, in 1999. Uh, the distribution of sand uh, gravel composites uh, is quite wide, uh, which generally exists in valley, uh, plain, hill, and other areas. Uh, therefore, the study of sand gravel liquefaction properties is very important to their site selection and their anti seismic design. Uh, numerical simulation is one of the important and effective method. Uh, equivalent linear method is widely used for diffraction analysis. Uh, however, their evaluation based on the per pressure is not suitable. Their deformation is a key issue we concerned. Uh, can I be heard? Yes, yes, we can. Uh, the deformation is a key issue we concerned, and it increases gradually during the power pressure development. So the elastoplastic continuity model can reproduce the process, and we can evaluate the refraction risk based on deformation, where the the latency equation is an important part of the model. For this purpose, a series of uh, triaxial tests are uh, carried out and uh, uh, investigate the latency uh, properties. Uh, soil usually show two typical <coughs> stress spin properties, uh, stress hardening and the softening. Uh, for the softening type, there are latency point, a peak straight point, and uh, the critical state point is not the same one. A reasonable latency equation should consider the two types. Uh, how to describe these two types in a unified equation uh, is a challenge. Uh, we can see in the stress ratio and the latency ratio space, uh, there is a non linear relationship between the D and the eta of sand gravel. In addition, the latency line after peak stress is not the same uh, with that before peak stress point. Uh, several latency equations have been proposed to describe the behaviors of geotechnical uh, materials. For example, uh, Roy's equation in Cambridge model and uh, its imposed uh, forms by Nova and uh, Wood. Um, 
uh, Professor Lee also gave a state dependent uh, dilatance equation, but uh, this linear equation cannot match the nonlinear properties. Uh, Roy and Guo uh, also suggested nonlinear dilatance equations, but uh, they neglect the peak stress point, <coughs> uh, the uh, stress stream relation after peak stress point. Therefore, it is important to develop a reasonable dilatancy equation, which can describe the whole properties during the shear properties. Uh, in this study, a new dilatancy equation was proposed. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, we, in their equation, the accumulated shear screen you used to consider the whole shear process. And uh, the nonlinear is also can be related, uh, can be related by the ratio eta and mc. Uh, the equation can satisfy the requirements of all the special state points of dilatancy, peak stress, and the critical state. The simulated results agree well uh, with the test result in the whole series process, uh, regardless of whether it is strain hardening or softening. In addition, the ability of the equation to predict the, the stress dilatancy relations of raw fuel and uh, other gravel materials is verified uh, using the result uh, by other researchers. Uh, there are also uh, a good agreement between the test result and the prediction. Uh, therefore, uh, the prediction, <coughs> the proposed uh, equation is suitable uh, for coarse green soil. Uh, next part is the constitutive model for sand gravel. Uh, particle bridge is one of the main important uh, effects uh, on cohesiveness soil uh, by comparing the particles and the particle size distribution uh, before and after test, uh, there is no obviously obvious particle bridge occurred uh, of sand gravel. Uh, therefore, uh, this issue is not considered uh, in the quantitative model. Uh, the new equation uh, we proposed uh, are combined with uh, is combined with a generalized uh, plastic uh, theory uh, proposed by Pasteur and uh, Sikovich to establish the elastic plastic model uh, for sand gravel. A detailed uh, formulas are not uh, introduced here due to the time limit. Uh, they can be found in the related references. Uh, there are totally uh, 11 parameters and uh, seven of them can be determined uh, uh, by monotonic uh, test results. Uh, this is a determined method. Uh, four parameters uh, related with cyclic loading uh, can be obtained uh, by a PSO method. Uh, with the same parameters, uh, we uh, simulated uh, the uh, monotonic uh, test, uh, uh, including Constituted drain, on drain, and uh, uh, cyclic uh, uh, constituted drain, and the dynamic expansion test. Uh, it can be seen <coughs> that the proposed model is capable of predicting the stress drain and the stream volume behaviors of sand gravel under different test conditions. Uh, the test gravel, uh, especially the predicted. Uh, excessive uh, access pro pressure, axial string histories, and the picture stress uh, relationship agree well with the test result. Uh, this uh, provides the basis of the application of the model uh, to the numerical stimulation of the fashion analysis. Uh, this is the result, test result of sand gravel conducted by Andrew in 2016. 
this <coughs> this test results used to further verify the model. It results that the model has the capability of capturing the behaviors of sand gravel under a wide range of confining pressures from 10 to 1,000 kilopascal. Uh, in addition, the test result of uh, other two sand gravel and uh, three rock fuel materials obtained from the papers are also used to verify the model. Uh, overall, uh, the effect of sand gravel is better than that of the fuel uh, because uh, significant influence of particle bridge is not considered. Uh, this is a test result uh, uh, of sand uh, conducted by George Washington University uh, in their project of uh, liquefaction uh, earthquake analysis projects in 2015. Uh, Chairman Joe is also taking part in this project. We also use the result to verify the model. Uh, it can be seen that the proposed model is also capable of uh, simulating the behavior of sand with three different uh, weather ratio, initial weather ratio. Shubin? 我看一看啊。哦。我我这是我重新共享一下吧。对,重新重新共享。嗯。呃, uh, this yeah. Uh, okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, this is a test result of a turbo sand conducted uh, by George Washington University in the project named the uh, Diffusion Earthquake Analysis Project. Uh, we use the, the result to verify the model. Uh, it can be seen. Uh, the model uh, can predict the behavior of sand with three different initial wide ratio. We added a model in Jordana software, uh, which developed by Professor Zhou of our group. Uh, Using this model, uh, there are the dynamic analysis of a CVO uh, built on the deep fiber sand gravel site uh, is carried out. The CVO is built uh, for the safety of a nuclear power station. Uh, this is the development of the power pressure during the earthquake. Uh, it can be seen uh, the power pressure gradually accumulates. Uh, uh, with the increase of the power pressure, the foundation gradually liquefies and the lateral deformation occurs. Uh, the, the lateral deformation at a tool is about one meter. Uh, at the same time, uh, the crest settlement reached about one half meters. Uh, generally, uh, the dynamic analysis of for the fashion only considered the process of the uh, earthquake. Uh, however, the reconstitution uh, is more <coughs> is also important. Uh, we conducted the analysis. Uh, With the deception, uh, with the deception of the uh, of, of the, the excessive uh, pore pressure, the lateral uh, displacement and the settlement uh, increased uh, increased the border. The final settlement uh, is uh, zero point eight meters, which is about uh, fifty percent higher than that due to the seismic motion. This indicates that the reconsideration process should be considered for the refraction analysis. Uh, 
uh, uh, this is a conclusion. Uh, firstly, uh, a nonlinear dilatancy equation was proposed, uh, in which the volume screen after peak stress was considered with the accommodated shear screen. Uh, second, a unified electroplastic model was established uh, based on the proposed equation. Uh, with the model, the equation and the reconsolidation responses of a CVO were numerically simulated. Uh, the settlement will increase 50% considering the reconsolidation. Uh, this, uh, future, in future, we will simulate the lip seeking table test and the budget model further. Uh, also, the diffusion risk evaluation method based on the deformation, considering the random of earthquake motion uh, will be conducted. Also, uh, we will investigate the anti diffusion measures uh, for sand gravel site. Uh, this is the reference of the study. Uh, this is part uh, papers on numerical simulation uh, by Jordana. Uh, for more information, you can visit uh, the page, uh, homepage of our group. Uh, thank you for your attention.